Prolactin is a protein hormone also called lactogenic hormone, synthesized and secreted by the lactotropic cell or lactotropes of the anterior pituitary gland where it is stored and released in the bloodstream, but also in the extra pituitary sites within the central nervous system, immune system, uterus, and it is associated tissues of conception and even the mammary gland for its ability to promote lactation and response to the suckling stimulus of hungry young mammals. During milk secretion, prolactin is necessary for lactogenesis or milk synthesis by the alveolar cell in the mammary gland, where it stimulates the growth and development of mammary tissue. The level of prolactin in the blood increases markedly during pregnancy in preparation for the production of milk. However, milk is not secreted then because progesterone and estrogen, the hormone of pregnancy, block its action in secretion of milk. After delivery, level of progesterone and estrogen decreases rapidly. Prolactin is no longer blocked and milk secretion begins. Prolactin releasing stimuli not only include nursing stimulus, but light, all function, and stress can serve a stimulatory role. How is prolactin controlled? One of the main regulators of the production of prolactin from the pituitary gland is hormone called dopamine, which is produced in the hypothalamus part of the brain directly above the pituitary gland. Dopamine restrains prolactin production, so the more the dopamine, there is the less release of prolactin. Prolactin itself enhances the secretion of dopamine, so this creates a negative feedback loop. Estrogen is another key regulator of prolactin. In addition to dopamine and estrogen, a whole range of other hormones can both increase and decrease the amount of prolactin release in the body. With some examples, thyrotropin-releasing hormone, oxytocin, and antidiuretic hormone.